Son of a... Well, okay. So, what just happened in the hockey world? The trade deadline is Monday, February 26th at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. Today is February 23rd, and there have already been major trades from the Rangers. The Boston Bruins look like they're going to go all in and get a defenseman in Nick Holden. They give up a third round pick in this year's 2018 NHL entry draft and prospect defenseman Rob O'Gara, who's actually from Long Island. You give up a defenseman in Nick Holden who really didn't fill out that defensive line as you'd like. He had a good season last year, not that good, and this year he just hasn't been good at all. So good for the Rangers to get rid of him. The Rangers have like five or six uh, picks in the first three rounds of the NHL draft this year. Uh, they can get more with the trades they make. We don't know what's going to happen yet, but right now they have like five or six uh, in the first three rounds. Now, on to the first trade ever between the New York Rangers and the New Jersey Devils. The New York Rangers sent over Michael Grabner to the New Jersey Devils, who obviously once again look like another team that wants to go all in and contend for a Stanley Cup and contend in the playoffs. They send Michael Grabner to the Devils. The Rangers get 2018 second round pick, which is another top three round pick, and a defensive prospect from the KHL who was in the Devil system. Now, okay, as a Ranger point of view, this is a very good trade. I know you're giving up your best goal scorer, obviously, statistically, but I mean, right now we don't. We kind of are in a phase where we have to retool, not yet rebuild. We're kind of in a rebuilding stage, but you know, I don't really like saying rebuild. Since Michael Grabner is an unrestricted free agent, and that if the Devils don't sign him, then he can go into free agency, and right then and there, the Rangers can make another run at him. Hey, you want to come back? You, and it depends what they do during the off season and in the draft. They could maybe potentially once again contend next year. We don't know if that's going to be possible. But from the best point of view as a Ranger fan, you know, the biggest hopes is that we can also be a contender next, she next season. Um, we need to just figure out what we want to do right now, and that is we're selling. We're selling. We're going to get rid of players and get return, and hopefully maybe Michael Grabner. And when I talk about Rick Nash, we don't know if this is going to happen, but he could potentially come back because he's an unrestricted free agent at the end of this season. And now let's get to the biggest trade of the day so far. It's 3:04 right now. This trade literally happened a half hour ago. Derek Brassard of the Ottawa Senators traded to the Pittsburgh Penguins. Once again, they are making a deadline deal splash. They give up Ian Cole and a first-round pick. They're going to Ottawa. Derek Brassard is going to have a chance to win a Stanley Cup with Pittsburgh. Now... Pittsburgh obviously wants to go all in once again. They fill out that center role. Is this the gap? Is this the is this the player to fill in for Nick Benino that you lost during free agency last season? Derek Broussard, one of the biggest playoff performers in the recent years. He was amazing with the New York Rangers. Unbelievable skill. Derek Broussard, a playoff performer these last few years. With the New York Rangers, a beautiful, beautiful goal scorer. Perfect skill. He is an amazing playoff performer. And now that Pittsburgh picked this guy up, they are going to be scary. They can throw him on the penalty kill, the power play. It doesn't matter what Derek Broussard is playing. If it's the postseason, if it's the playoffs, the Stanley Cup playoffs, Derek Broussard turns into another mode and goes off. Oh, and by the way, don't you think it's a little salty to Zooks that, you know, now Broussard and Taglin are playing together again? Zooks is probably in New York, either like, yo, get me out of here, I'm gonna go play with my boys, or like, get the boys back here. But obviously that's not gonna happen. I just feel so bad for Zooks, man, because there's a lot of rumors around, around him, surrounding him, that he might be able to, he might go. And if he does, what, where is he going to go? You know, he I, I love him. He's a fan favorite. Uh, everyone changed his name, Zook, Zook. Like, he's a fan favorite. If you get rid of him, you got to make sure you're giving him to a right team, the right place. Because if you don't, then what's it going to, you know, why didn't you just keep him? You know, give him to a team that has a chance to win a cup. He can get a ring. And Broussard. Broussard had an ama amazing playoff run with the Rangers. And then they traded him for Mika Zibanejad, obviously. You know, the, the center swap. Younger players of Anjad, more, uh, he's been getting better. Broussard to Ottawa. The Rangers face Ottawa in the second round of the 2017 NHL playoffs. And Broussard tore it up. He tore it up. It doesn't matter what team he's playing for. But now that he's playing with Pittsburgh, 
Come on, I think Pittsburgh might win their third Stanley Cup. And not. I think, I just think that with the center depth, you got Crosby, Malkin, Broussard, and the fourth line, I don't, like, it doesn't matter who you put in that fourth line because the depth is ridiculous. The way that Pittsburgh can just make trades like this and gel players is going to be, it's going to be an amazing playoffs this year. It really is. I gotta give a lot of credit to Jeff Gordon right now because with all the free, unrestricted free agents that you're looking to move right now, you started with Nick Holden, who is probably the worst skill-wise or worst value out of all of them. You really set a standard for what you want for your other players with the first trade. Nick Holden was for a third-round pick and a defensive prospect. You say to yourself, hey, Nick Holden, for a third-round pick, the NHL entry draft is completely different now than it was 10, 15 years ago. There are players going in later rounds that are potentially could have been first round picks. If you look at last year's draft, the year before that, and even the year before that, you have players who are in the 6th, 7th rounds who got drafted in there are playing in the NHL right now. Pecorino just won his 300th game in, the, in his NHL career. He just won his 300th game. He was an 8th round pick. By Nashville, and they don't even have eighth rounds anymore. I, I don't believe. Give give credit to Jeff Gordon because now you set a standard. And you just traded away Michael Grabner for a second rounder, and now right now, then and there, you know you can get easily a first round pick for Rick Nash, and that is because you set a standard by Holden and then Grabner. Whoever wants Rick Nash, you're giving us a first round pick easily. I don't know what else you're gonna want to give up, but you easily have to give up a first round pick. The trade deadline is an amazing time. These next three days are going to be crazy. Guys, thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe for trade deadline chaos these next few days. It is going to be crazy. Trades every day. I'm going to probably be popping on this camera making a video about it no matter what trade happens. So guys, thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want more and I'll see you later.